Hello students, uh, welcome to short of set classes. So this question is from ISI MS QMS of 2022 and this solution has been prepared by the faculty of short of set classes. So the question number 11 is saying that a balloon takes off from a location that is 24 feet above sea level. It rises 45, minute per min 45 feet per minute. So choose the correct equation to model the balloon elevation h as a function of time t. So it's a pretty uh, uh, easy equation. So we have to do so let the height reached in time t minutes be h feet, right? So we have given over here, it is given that a balloon takes up from a location that is 24 feet above sea level and it rises at 45 feet per minute. So we, the equation will be say h minus 24 by t is 45, right? So if we simplify this equation, we will find that h equal to 45t plus 24. So, from here you can see the correct option will be C. So, this is the balloon elevation that is H equal to 45 T plus 24. Question number 12. If, if the product of two matrices A and B is given is a null matrix, then theta and phi differ by. So, we should find which one of the options will be correct. So, if we multiply this uh, two matrix, this product of the two matrix is given. So, A multiplied B. So, in A we have this cos square theta, cos theta sine theta, cos theta sine theta, sine square theta. And in B we have cos square phi, cos phi sin cos square phi then we have this cos phi sin phi again we have this cos phi sin phi and sin square theta so this is a null matrix so we can take it as so after the product we will find this will be a 1 1 a 1 2 a 2 1 a 2 2 so this is a 2 by 2 matrix multiplied by 2 the square matrix will be so it will also be 2 by 2 matrix this is a square square matrix so this is it is saying that it is a null matrix so let us find the coefficients that are the elements of a 1 1 where we can just so a of 1 1 will be cos square theta cos square phi plus cos theta sin theta cos phi sin phi right then I have a 1 2 so this is this will be cos square theta cos phi sin phi plus sin square phi cos theta sin theta so we will have then this a of 2 1 which is cos square phi cos theta sin theta plus it will be sin square theta cos phi sin phi and finally the last element that is a of 2 2 so it will be cos theta sin theta cos phi and sin phi plus sin square theta sin square phi right so we can equate this now if we do this a of 1 1 equal to 0 then we will have this so if we take then 
cos theta cos phi we can take common out of it so we can write this as cos theta cos of phi then we will remain with cos theta cos phi plus of uh, we have this given so it will be sine theta sin phi which is nothing but equal to zero so this is can we write it in as cos theta cos phi this is nothing but cos of theta minus phi which is equal to zero okay now if we take this as cos of theta minus phi is equal to zero then which can be written as this so it is zero means cos of theta minus phi equal to zero means it is it can be written the same as a cos of 2n plus 1 phi by 2 so here we have only this theta minus phi equal to 2n plus 1 phi by 2 right now we have the if we put that a of 1 2 equal to 0 or so we are fine for a 1 1 now if we put a of 2 2 equal to 0 so from here we can take this sine theta sine phi as common so which will be cos theta cos phi plus of sine theta sine phi so which is equal to 0 so from here we can again find that theta minus phi is nothing but this 2n plus 1 of phi by 2 now if we uh, compute this a of 1 okay, so if we take that a of 1 2 is equal to 0 then we have this take common this cos theta and sine of phi then we will remain with cos theta cos phi plus sine theta sine phi which is equal to this zero so from here we can get this theta minus phi is equal to nothing but 2n plus 1 by phi by so 2n plus 1 pi by 2 so everything we defined over here the, let's take the check with the option so here we have the correct option will be C because every time this theta and phi is differing by an odd multiple of phi is an odd multiple 2n plus 1 that we are finding the in every value the 2n plus 1 this term is so this is the odd term of pi by 2 so the correct option will be C for the question number 12 so now question number 13 so if f of x is given as 9 to the power x by 9 to the power x plus 3 so we have to find the sum of the terms so now f of x is given so if we find uh, what will be the f of 1 minus x so it will be then 9 to the power 1 minus x will be 9 to the power 1 minus x by 9 to the power 1 minus x plus 3 so here we will have a simply 9 by 9 to the power x it will be 9 by 9 to the power x plus 3 so if we simplify it it will be 9 by 9 plus 3 into 9 to the power x so if we take 3 common so it will be 3 by 3 plus 9 to the power x which is nothing but 3 by 9 to the power x plus 3 right so now if we now if we write this f of x plus of f of 1 minus x so then we will have 9 to the power x plus 3 by 9 to the power x plus 3 which is equal to 1 so from here we can write this uh, so f of 
1 by 1996 plus f of 1995 by 1996 it will be equal to 1 similarly f of 2 by 996 plus f of 1994 by 1996 equal to 1 so if we so move like this so it will be uh, extending the term so it will be 997 by 1996 plus of 999 by 1996 it will be there so it will also be 1 so here we will have non 997 terms okay and for the term of f of 998 by 1996 that is the mid term plus of 1998 by 1996 so it is equal to 1 so from here we will get f of 998 by 1996 equal to it will be half only so the sum will be nothing but so 997 plus of half so it will be 997 whole one half so let's check the correct option so we have the correct option over here this 13b 997 whole half question number 14 so let if a1 a2 up to a21 are in arithmetic progression so here we have given this summation of uh, i equal to 1 to 21 a of i is given as 693 so we have that t1 over here as a1 that is the first term and uh, let uh, a2 minus a1 equal to d since we have this as an ap there is arithmetic progression so from here we can write this summation so we have this given this summation of i equal to 1 to 21 a of i so it can be written as this since 21 so n by 2 means 21 by 2 plus 2 of a1 plus 21 minus 1 d so we will have only left with 21 a plus 10 d okay which is equal to 693 so if we simplify here so it will be we will get a plus 10 d as 693 by 21 which will give 33 okay so it will be 33 now we have to given this we have to find the summation of e i equal to 0 to summation of i equal to 0 to 10 a of 2i plus a. that we have to find. Okay. Now here we have the term. So if we put i equal to 0 to 10, so it will be a1 plus a3 plus a5 up to it will go to a of 21. Okay. So from here, so this is an AP with the common difference CD is equal to a3 minus a1 that is equal to 2d okay so if we find the sum over here then it will be a is equal to 11 by 2 so we have the 11 terms a1 to a21 all the odd number of terms so a1 11 by 2 2 of a1 plus 11 minus 1 into 2d so from here we can get 11 of a1 plus 10d okay so it will be equal to nothing but 11 into 33 so from here we can find so this is uh, so this will be 
a one only and it will be also a one okay so far put the value of a one over 33 over so 11 minus 11 multiplied by 33 so it will be 363 So the summation of this term is, so let's check with the correct options. The correct option is C, that is, correct option is C, that is 363.